David Shookman there, our science editor. Well, uh, Helen Mountford is uh, actually Vice President for Climate and uh, Economic World Resources Institute. She's in Washington. She was actually at the climate uh, conference a little earlier in the week. Helen, thank you for your time. Uh, what everyone is going to be wondering is, is this deal enough to avert uh, the worst effects of climate change? Well, we very much hope it's the right start in going in that direction. Um, the deal that we got in Katowice is, a, is an important one. It sets the rule book and the guidelines for how to move forward and how to operationalize the Paris Agreement. But whether it's enough will be seen as we go forward over the next one to two years. We've been hearing from, especially from the IPCC report of how, how dire things are, that we are supposed to achieve a 45% cut from 2010 levels in 11 years. Doesn't that mean that effectively this deal is a bit of a failure? It's just, it's just not enough to get us there. I wouldn't say that. Um, this, this deal is, it was absolutely fundamental in starting to set some of these rules on transparency around reporting, around information provision, around review and discussion and, and assessing what progress we're making. That is absolutely essential to build trust amongst the parties and to make sure that we are on the right track year by year as we as we go forward. So it's it's a sort of fundamental foundation for what we need to do. Uh, beyond that, what we're looking for is how countries can step up action and enhance their ambition. Um, and there was some important uh, discussion around that uh, in Katowice and some and some key text uh, that was agreed really looking forward to the UN Secretary General Summit, which is in September 2019, where countries are being asked to come back and look at how they can enhance ambition and come forward with new commitments. Um, so, so there's a good timeline and, a, and an approach that's uh, been agreed uh, to set us on the right track. You were at the summit uh, earlier. Uh, are, you, are you personally disappointed that more wasn't achieved? Because that's been some of the criticism and we've been hearing about a lot of conflict between countries uh, at the summit as well. There is certainly quite a bit of conflict. I think this was one of the uh, conferences on climate change where we saw much more up in the air. Uh, it's a two week conference, start of the second week. There are still far too many square bracketed texts you know, issues still uh, needing to be resolved and discussed through. There was a very contentious discussion, as you as you may have seen, around climate science on the weekend in between, uh, with just a few countries, uh, the U.S., uh, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait being outliers, while uh, you know over 190 countries wanted to embrace the findings of the latest scientific report. So there's definitely some very difficult uh, difficult days and difficult discussions. And up until the last minute, uh, there was some real question about whether there would be a deal. Um, so given all of that, I think what we got out was, was definitely an accomplishment. I think we do need to see this as a foundation which rapidly needs to be built upon. The good news is uh, what we also saw in Katowice and we see outside the conference room, uh, outside the conference rooms, is that there's so much action that's been uh, moving forward, whether it's cities and states, businesses, investors, there's actually a lot of movement on the ground and so quite a bit which the countries and the governments can build upon. All right, uh, Helena Mountford uh, with the Climate and Economic, uh, Economic World Resources Institute. Thank you very much uh, for that uh, sum up of the climate agreement.